technically cannot work inside the United States. So different intelligence organizations are prioritized to collect certain types of intelligence. The president dictates what's on the first page of his PDP, and he will tell them usually the day before, I want to see this on the first page tomorrow. Bring this to me in the beginning. I, I don't want to hear about what's happening in Mozambique. I don't really care about what's happening in Saudi Arabia. Sometimes they're extremely qualified intelligence professionals. Sometimes they're just professional politicians or soldiers that can put in that seat because the president trusts them to do what he wants them to do. When the president doesn't want to hear what the CIA has to say, he's not going to listen. In my assessment, Vladimir Putin is winning. Russia is winning. They're winning in Ukraine. But they're also winning the battle of influence against the West. They're winning in the face of economic sanctions. They're winning. And the reason that there was no support from the West, because let's not forget, there is no support. There is nothing other than the Lend-Lease Act, which is putting Ukraine in massive debt right now to the West. That's the only form of support they're getting from NATO or the United States. Do you know that, that the UK did not pay off the debt from World War II until 2020? They've been paying that debt since the end of World War II. So what we're doing is we're indebting Ukraine. Perhaps they will secure their freedom, which nobody seems to want to talk about what freedom is actually going to look like for Ukrainians. Because we live in a world right now where there simply is no economic benefit to the parties in power to support Ukraine to that level. And war is a game of economics. Do you remember what happened in Hong Kong right before COVID? China swooped into Hong Kong violently, beating protesters, killing them in the streets, imprisoning people without just, without just cause. And Hong Kong was a must. And the whole world stood by and let it happen. And then what happened in Afghanistan just a year ago? And the whole world stood by and let the Taliban take power again after 20 years of loss. This, we are showing a repeatable point of view. We will talk. Peace fire.